Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Productive Enterprise Web Development with AXTGS and Clear Toolkit. My name is Viktor Gemov and I work as a software engineer at Ferrata Systems. Uh, I would like to remember, uh, remind you that um, in this screencast series uh, I am showing to you how you can use the open source uh, productive tool and Eclipse plugin called Clear Data Builder to bootstrap uh, your uh, development, your web development using the XGS framework and Java on the backend. And um, and today I will I would like to tell you, and I would like to show you how you can use uh, Clear Data Builder to generate CRUD applications. Uh, I will uh, I'll show you how you can um, uh, turn your Java Pojo into XGS um, model class. I'll show you how you can populate the XGS store from a remote service. Uh, and also I'll show you um, how you can uh, use automatically generated UI for, for that application. And, um, how, and how you can extend it. And I will provide you a brief um, explanation of the change object. Uh, um, as, as you remember, uh, we need to create the um, new project a clear data builder for AXCGS project and uh, today I would like to use a new clear data builder project and this project uh, will be and I will keep the rest um, as the same as as, as, as with defaults for my CRUD application first of all I need to have the Java Pojo so in this case, uh, let me create a new class and it will be Java class. I'll call this DTO and it will, it will be the person.java. Oh. Okay. Uh, my person .java, I would like to have few fields. First of all, I would like to have um, first name, last name, address, uh, first name, last name, social security, and phone number. And also, uh, I would like to my person uh, assign some kind of ID, assigned uh, ID to person. Okay. Uh, let me generate uh, getters and setters for this. I would like to generate getters and setters for all my properties. Okay, so also uh, it's good to have here constructor from my fields. And also I would like to, to implement to string method. Okay. So far so good, okay. So now I want to uh, I want to have the separate uh, the same uh, corresponding XGS model for my person. In this case, uh, I only uh, I need to annotate this class with annotation called a GS class, and uh, this annotation will tell the uh, Clear Data Builder to generate uh, the model. Okay, and. Uh, for for my um, for my model, I also need to have ID. Okay, so with this annotation, I will tell uh, the Clear Data Builder that this is my ID. So now let's uh, uh, examine the directory of. Uh, 
xtjs mvc application and uh, let's take a look inside the model folder inside the model folder we have the folder dto uh, which is the uh, the same package as we have for our person java pojo and uh, let's open a uh, person person.model. In our case, uh, uh, the person.model is extended from uh, a generated person.model. Uh, this pattern called a generation gap. So we, uh, if we need to provide some kind of customization, we could put, uh, we can put this customization inside this uh, person.model. But uh, this underscore file will be uh, generated uh, each and every time when we change something in our model. So, and as you can see here, uh, this model contains all uh, fields from uh, our project. First name, ID, last name, phone, social security number, and etc. Okay. Now, we also want to have... Uh, uh, to we, we, we need to have actual service to, uh, to populate uh, data uh, for, for store. So in this case, I would like to create a service. Oh, I'm sorry, Java, uh, Java class, and uh, in the package service, and with name, person, service. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, and also I want to, uh, this will be interface. Okay, all right. So, and in my application, in my case, I would like to get some sort of list of the uh, my person DTO. In this case, uh, this um, this interface should contain one method called uh, the get persons with the signature. Okay, let me import Java util list and uh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, in this case, um, I need to tell uh, somehow uh, to clear the table that I would like to expose this uh, service as the as the remote service. Uh, and uh, for this, I can use annotation called uh, GS service. And also, I need to tell this uh, the clear data builder that I would like to populate the store. First of all, I would like to generate store. In this case, I would use annotation GS generate uh, generate store, and uh, I would like to tell that this is the GS uh, JavaScript. This is the fill method. fill method and also uh, it, it would be nice to have some sort of UI to test this uh, in this case I can also use the annotation called uh, GS uh, generate simple all right so in this case uh, clear data builder will examine this uh, file and find this annotation and will generate uh, first of all generate xgs uh, store for me uh, uh, pop um, and the generate the sample application sample ui isn't it cool let's see if we if we can get this uh, let me clean uh, my application and invoke clear data builder Now, okay, and now I even got the uh, implementation for my service. And uh, let's check our store folder inside MVC application. Hurrah, we got this store which is the bind to my uh, person person model and my person model uh, was generated on previous step remember remember this this guy okay cool 
And in this case, uh, the clear data builder generated stored that bind into a remote service. All this uh, intermediate uh, translation from the JavaScript to Java and uh, from Java to JavaScript done by uh, Direct J Engine. This is the server side implementation of uh, XT, uh, XT Direct protocol. Uh, you, you, you can find links and read about this protocol. Um, in uh, official documentation. Now, also uh, the cool thing is Clear Data Builder generates uh, for us UI. So in our case, we can uh, we can have this uh, simple controller and simple grid panel inside the samples folder. And uh, a Clear Data Builder also even generates the uh, application. So to test um, to test this, we need to just um, copy the sample controller in a controller folder, a sample a grid panel in the view uh, folder, and the sample application is the root of our web content. And also let me uh, change uh, application and um, entry point with sample app. Okay, so this is our uh, sample application. Okay, so far so good. Let's see uh, actually what's, um, uh, what Clear Data Builder generated for us. And uh, while my Tomcat is starting, I would like to show you basically uh, the uh, uh, here for uh, services we're also following the generation gap, uh, the pattern. And uh, uh, we also generate uh, Clear Data Builder also generated uh, the stubs for uh, your ser your um, your service methods. In this case, uh, my get person uh, method is uh, returning nothing. Uh, in this case, you see the return null, but uh, I can invoke this method. Uh, for, from the UI, the same the same idea with the rest. So in uh, in 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 this uh, notation, get person. This is our read method. The insert person. This is our create method. Update uh, update method and uh, delete uh, delete method. So if we want to uh, implement our uh, CRUD uh, functionality, we can actually extend this uh, method inside. Uh, not extend, but uh, overwrite. Uh, in our case, I want to overwrite get persons. I want to overwrite do create uh, do create do delete. You do update. Okay. Nice. Uh, uh, let's see what what we got first of all. And voila, we got this uh, application, uh, the grid, with absolutely with no effort. We just uh, generated something, we copied something, and now we have the these four buttons, and we have grid, uh, which is the running against our service. So let me click the load, and I will see here that my store is um, loaded only zero records. This is not the surprise because our actual implementation doesn't. Um, it doesn't return uh, anything. Okay, um, in this case, uh, let me generate some sort of uh, in-memory objects. Um, remember that we're using a list of person. In this case, I want to uh, insert inline data, um, and I will use the default uh, the constructor with uh, fields. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, it will be ID. So let me see uh, integer uh, ID equals zero.
Uh, next, it's the first name, Joe. Last name, Doe. Um, and uh, what else? We need to put here the social security number and phone number. Okay, so phone number is 555-5555. And uh, social security number will be 1111. Say 1111. Like this. Okay, so, and uh, let me replicate it a little bit. So now I need to uh, restart my server to update changes. Okay, and let me click right now, load. Voila, we got this uh, four um, persons from our server site. Um, just in a couple of seconds. Uh, how we how we can actually uh, the um, send data? Uh, it's also easy. Um, the the clear data builder generates code that uh, you can easily extend. So once you want to add something, you can say John and ID Smith. And the phone number is 666-6666. And um, social security 222, 222, 2, like this. And uh, now I need to click uh, sync. And uh, actually we send data back to the, to the server. And uh, only one thing that how we can get this, uh, we'll see on the console that uh, this, mm, uh, this uh, data was processed on the server and the clear data builder injects this uh, uh, the, this data in form of a change object. Change object, it's a, a special uh, the class. Uh, this is the part of the uh, clear uh, data builder uh, project template. And uh, this class uh, contains a few very important methods that if you if you need to if you need to read actual data from the um, uh, from the client side, so actual data was what was sent. Uh, in this case, you just need to use change object get new version and uh, this uh, this guy will contain the json object that you need to serialize uh, into your actual uh, domain object in our case it will be uh, the person uh, and you can do uh, all uh, some sort of like uh, the, the storage so you can keep it on memory or you can store it on the database and etc and uh, w next time we will see how we can uh, how we can use it and uh, uh, f for now, uh, th this is it. I uh, have shown you how you can use the uh, clear data builder to generate the CRUD application, how you can generate a model from the uh, Java Podio, how you can generate service from Java service and expose the service into front end. And the next time I will show you how you can uh, uh, paginate your data. And I will show you how you can easily do this with clear data builder. Uh, for now, I would like to say thank you for your time and uh, stay tuned for new episodes.